How you doing guys, it's the Bam Bam. VT here with another video. And this video is from uh, the place, the dealership where I got my car from. Um, so it says, thank you. We just want to drop you a sweet note. Thank you for joining our family, blah, 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 blah. Thank you again from your friends at. So, <clears throat> I got that letter and another thank you letter um, from them. And uh, I already looked and saw what was inside. It's uh, cookies. So, I just never knew anybody else got this. I think this chocolate chip. No, yeah, chocolate chip. And then, I don't think I want to eat that one. But... Just raisin? Yeah, definitely want to eat raisins. But, yeah, <clears throat> I'm just showing this before I actually show the actual video of uh, what I'm, you know, posting today. I'm just showing y'all that uh, I never got gifts for any car I ever had. From the Ford Focus I ever had, from the Chevy Track, from the Kia K5, until, you know, the car I got now. So, I just never got anything, <laughs> like, cookie-wise. And apparently, they're sending more stuff. So, uh, yeah, just, just showing y'all this. Maybe y'all had different experiences, and maybe, you know, y'all have better stuff than I had. But, uh, yeah. Uh, just showing you this, but uh, on to the video. How you doing, guys? It's Bam Bam GT2. I'm gonna start the video off. <laughs> the first one was just the candy, or I'm sorry, cookies that they uh, they gave me from uh, Kia. Um, this one was showing uh, what I use for my uh, vehicle, but uh, just just to clean it, um, the buckets I use and stuff like that, and also uh, tomorrow, uh. I am going to a drag strip, so I'll be able to show you numbers, how much, you know, fast I'm getting with just the, uh, the intake with the spark plug. So I'll be able to show you to y'all tomorrow. I actually got a, uh, I'm trying to get the name of it, an actual stand that goes in my car so I can set my phone down and let it sh show you as I run. So that video would be pretty clean. But first thing first, what I do normally is I start off with the tires. Uh, let's do the tire shine foam. This is pretty good, to be honest. Like, when you spray this on, you can actually see the dirt just coming off with this. Like, this is pretty good. I used to use turtle wax, but this is this is better. And I am a pretty turtle wax guy. Um, <clears throat> this is what I use after finish washing the car. I don't have soap anymore. I do use the turtle wax soap, um, but I don't, you know, I don't have any more. I got to get some more. Uh, but I also use this right here. Turn the wax and dry, spray it on, you know, wipe the car down, dry it off. Nothing too too bad. Uh also I use these for the calibers to get in underneath and underneath and stuff like that. It works pretty well though, to be honest. Uh, I recommend this. Um to scrape down the tires as y'all can see. It's pretty dirty. Uh might need to get a new one, but I mean uh, <clears throat> this I use to get underneath the tire as well, to get underneath the get the brake dust and stuff off. Um yeah, and then you have my uh, tiles rats, which I need to get new ones because these is pretty dirty. Um, but yeah, and I have the two buckets here. Uh, in my closet, I did, excuse the mess, I just came back from deployment. So everything is just everywhere. Uh, first of all, let me do this because this shouldn't be here. So. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. So that shouldn't be there. But I did take off the uh, cover that goes in the back of the uh, the stinger. Then when you lift up, it's like a little shelf. I took this off because I don't use it, and it's just there. Um, when I have a lot of stuff in the car, when I lift it up, it just well when it goes down on me. When I have stuff in the car, it kind of just I don't know. It kind of lifts up and keeps like up like this is because I may have like these buckets in there when I go wash the car or something like that. I, I don't know. It's kind of annoying and I don't use it. So it's kind of like, you know, why have it in the car if I, if I don't use it? You know what I mean? So I just keep it in here. Um, I may put it back in the car, but it's, once again, it's kind of like I don't use it. So what's the point of having it in the, you know, in the car? It's just there. You know what I mean? So, uh, I do have this spray for the interior. Um, I don't think this this may be good on my uh, interior, but with the red, I don't think that's a good idea to use. 
Uh, I got another turtle wax back there. Um, yeah, this should be ceramic. Yep, ceramic spray. Um, I used to use this too as well, but I wind up not using this anymore. I just have it. Uh, I may be giving this away to my one of my friends. Uh, just because I don't like stuff going to waste. Then I have these, which I don't use at all. Um, it's just a spray. Uh, I would say if you really want to spray, just get an actual spray foam canning that you can hook up to your little uh, spray gun. These, the pressure that you get out of is not enough, really. Uh, I used to use it just for my tires, but I kind of just realized it's just a waste of time to use, like, pit water, soap in there, use it around your tires, and then clean it. It's like, I might as well just use the bucket, you know what I mean? That's the whole point of me having two. So, I'm going to go outside, and I'm going to show y'all what I have outside in my, uh, y'all don't want to see that. <laughs> show show y'all what I got outside in my uh, car. Uh, okay, I'll put it back on. Just because I'm thinking about it. I'll put it back on. Okay, guys, I'm outside doing a uh, once around the car. Just trying to what it looks like. Still looks the same. I am pissed off about this. Some guy hit my car. Hit and run in a parking lot. It pissed me off, but what I'm going to do is get some get some like sticky tape or something like that and just tape it up so it's not too bad it did piss me off pretty well though it is dripping outside a little bit so i'm gonna make this pretty fast and yes i put it back in <laughs> yes i put it back in uh i was debating about it for a couple of minutes before i even post it like start recording but yeah uh anyway this is why I have my uh, tarp bed cooling. I keep keep some with me. My rags were uh, wiping it down for when I wash, uh, for I wash the uh, car. All my stuff. Now I got this off of eBay. Well, not eBay. I'm sorry. I got this from Walmart. This is all my. So I got one side with just like my on the road cleaning kit. I guess you can call it. All my tools is in the middle toolbox right here and then all my other essentials like pumping my tires uh in case i get a cold and uh yeah i have all that in there and underneath here i have my uh my jumping cables and my uh spare tire that comes with the car and this came with the car itself the owner didn't have this one the kia back this little tarp thingy well not tarp thing the little cover they actually came with the car um so it's the mats. I mean, it's part of the car, but the, uh, this portion of it came with it. Somebody asked me, why do I have two mats? It's because when I take one off, just in case for some reason I'm driving and something spill, I just to say this spill all over here, I could take this out, dry it, and I could still have a mat just in case. So if I didn't have the mat and this spill, all that liquid stuff probably would get onto here por portion of it, you know what I mean? So just to have two layers of protection, if that makes sense. And then, you know, Slate cables and two kit with my tire. Yeah. One second. It's kind of hard to get underneath underneath there. Yeah. My tire underneath, you can see it. Spare tire. So. Uh, yeah. Now I gotta fix it. Shouldn't have touched it. Yeah. Here we go. Push that down and push this down. Cool. But yeah, I'll put it back in. Um, it kind of. It kind of shows a cover over it because these the back window is not crazy tinted, so it kind of works just so you don't show everything that's in my back seat. So what I have back here, I have the shine for my car. Uh, yeah, well you can see it right here. I have another tire shine um, that I don't use. I use the my McGuire's is better, uh, and I also I also cleaned my car. So this is the ceramic speed uh shine that i use after claying my car this is the clay bar that came with that i use it's like in a rag form ah okay it doesn't want to open up let me see one second i know it's bad on the video but I'm trying to get it open well it, it's not going to fully open or whatever but this is the clay portion of it that i use to clay the car with this right here i use this for the ceramic wrap, well, ceramic uh, speed spray. I spray on it 
go a little bit around, flip it to the other side, and dry it off. Uh, and I have uh, a couple of those in there. Underneath there is just nothing but a bunch of tools, to be honest. I'm not going to go all into that. I mean, you can see, you know, tools and stuff like that. My rags for, uh, these are my, like, quick pick quick wipes for when I go to meets or something like that that I use. Uh, this is for the tire. As you can see, it's dirty. And the other side is for my uh, pumping my tire on the go. I got this off of uh, eBay. I can put the link down in the description below, but I got to find it. It's been a minute. I had that for a while. I had that before I even got the K5. And yeah, my cover to cover my, my tarp. Well, my car. It's raining anyway. My car is dirty anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah. So at least when my car closed, that cover covers it up so you can't really see that green or anything like that. And then I can show you inside the car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How you doing? So inside the car, like I was telling y'all, I have this right here for tomorrow when I go uh, on the track uh for uh, the drag race tomorrow uh i have this so i can face it backwards so y'all can see and i also have my um my camera that i use for if I, my car ever get hit or anything like that while i'm driving it can show the front and the back so i'm also gonna intimate that too as well uh y'all already saw the uh the big paddles red seats and stuff the leather this is worth it out of all the mods i did this is worth it. This is so comfortable. Like when I'm driving, this it feels so smooth and comfortable. Like, like this is in the description below, but I'm gonna do it again just on this video so y'all can see it again from not my past one, but this one I'm gonna do it. So y'all can see this. Cause this is worth it to be honest. But nonetheless, I got this off of Amazon. There's a lot of these that you can get. Ones are better, so I'm not gonna post this one, but it's a lot of them that you can get. Like way better than the one I got. So uh, I would look into it, how I got mine running. I got it plugged in, going all the way down, all the way underneath, and plugged into this portion of the back one. So this one I can, you know, push and, you know, close. It's not going to close because my uh, charging cord is in there. But I can push that, you know, I me mean, to close it sometimes. You know what I mean? If, sometimes I put my phone in there and I just close it uh, if I'm not using Apple CarPlay. But, uh... Yeah, these mats is the mats I got from the Stinger. That what? Not the Stinger. The mats I got from the K5 that I used to have. Uh, I put them in here because they fit, and it's like why well, buy the one that just says Stinger on it when I already have them. Um, underneath here, there are Stinger mats that says Stinger on it. If y'all can see it, right there. Uh, I didn't take them off just because, as you can see, if my feet is dirty or let's just say I spill something on it or something just happened. I can use this, take this out, throw it outside, or, you know, probably put it in the back or in the trunk or something like that. And then I can still have clean, clean floors. That's the re whole reason why I didn't take this out. Because as you can see, all the dirt and stuff kind of stops, like, right here on the edges. So when I take them both off, I take this off, I can just clean around it. And when I lift it up, there's no dirt underneath it at all. So that's the only reason why I keep that on. It's like a second protection. Same as over there and the back. As you can see the other mat. Uh, what is that? Yeah. A M&M? How did I get an M&M in my car? Yeah. And this is why you don't have... You don't let your friends put their kids in your car. Had a random M&M. But that's the backup camera right there. As you can see, I put it underneath there. It goes up. I put it in between there just to kind of make it neat in case someone sits right there. They don't, you know, mess with it. And then it goes up and then point to the back. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. It's not hard at all. Um, i seen some people have carbon fiber for this portion of it. I was thinking about it, but I think it looked clean just like this, to be honest. Uh, i seen another one that was like a wood, like kind of like a smooth wood kind of version of it. But for right now, cosmetic-wise and the inside, I think it's fine. I don't... I'm not going for the big carbon fiber or all that kind of stuff that I did with the K5. I kind of want to leave this like it is. Uh, it looks good enough. I just think just the, the paddles and the, the cover was enough for the inside. I'm not going to go too crazy for the inside. Um, but yeah, 
you know, sunroof. This is a GT2. Cause GT2 only comes with the uh the power door up and down thingy. The power <laughs> I said up and down thingy. The power trunk uh to put it up and put it down. Um and I think it I think it only comes with the power too for the uh the open up your gas uh gas can or gas uh lid. Um I think these two is only for GT two, I believe. But yeah, uh it's not bad. I'm enjoying the car so far. I'm loving it. Uh and people ask one person too asked me was I gonna change the symbol. Um I don't see why I need to. Uh, I might just keep it the same. I don't see a need to. So uh but yeah, this this is it, man. Um I don't wanna talk about the intakes and the uh the spark plugs I got on the car. Um Siddler 5 is a monster to like fix. It is a pain in the butt to pit on um for a Siddler 5. Uh I wanted to do a video on it, like show how to do it, but I was at my parents' house. Like I said, I was getting my computer fixed. And in the process of getting my computer fixed, I had my phone and my mom is just is I can't have her sitting there recording. She's gonna ask me tons of questions why am i doing it what do it do to your car do it make it faster are you trying to get more speeding tickets like it's it's, it's it's a pain so i'm not i'm not gonna do that but the intakes alone wasn't not that hard the intakes that i have uh they're not that bad at all uh i can show you real quick the intakes i got before i uh <clears throat> call quits of the video and i use these they smell good real real good uh, you can get this from any, really any AutoZone place, to be honest. Literally any. Uh, my glasses, obviously, my Jamaican gloves. You know, sunroof closed, obviously. Uh, I don't keep it open. I'm not in the car. Uh, <clears throat> well, I don't just keep the roof open at all while I'm in the car. Uh, like y'all know about me, uh, I'm going I'm to pop the trunk for y'all real quick to show y'all. But one thing about me, I told y'all when I used to have my old car. Uh, not the K5, but an older car before the K5. I don't, I'm not a crazy fan of sunroofs, but it's okay. I use it sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes when I'm in the mood, I want to show off and flex. I do it, but it's not, not all the time, but you know what I mean? Uh, you know what it is. Pop the hood and show you what it is in the front. Uh, I love this color. And pop this. Ooh. And here's the intakes. I am gonna get a uh, blow off valve. Don't know when. Don't know what kind of blow off valve. Still looking into it, but definitely gonna get a blow off valve. And here it is, guys. The intakes. They're doing their their job. You know, just intaking. And know, uh, yeah. And uh, the Spark Plus obviously is inside. I'm not going to take that fully off. Because you can't even see it if I did. So, But yeah. Showing y'all what it looks like. Alright. Please uh, stay tuned for my next video. Tomorrow when I go out in the race. And peace. Y'all get a good look at it.